Yes, yeah, so you turn down being a monkey, but you still met the Beatles. How's that come about? The Beatles, um, well, I first met, let's see, I, I think I first, yeah, I met Paul. I saw quite a lot of him at various, on various occasions, but the most amazing time was when Brian and I had been, um, well, at, in the oh, aftermath yeah. of the, the bus. Uh, Brian, uh, we were at the Hilton. Alan Klein had made a big thing about us being able to stay there. They wanted to toss us out. And I was in a very uneasy position as I, I had been on my way to America to do a film and they con confiscated my passport and I couldn't uh, go anywhere. So this is after the Coldfield Road bus? After the Coldfield Road bus. So there I was in limbo at the Hilton feeling rather sheepish about speaking to my own family. It was a, a huge scandal uh, in Europe, of course, and it was Stash and one of the Rolling Stones. There was a title in some of these Italian publications. Oh, right. And so um, it ended up that uh, out of the blue, Paul McCartney called. And I said, well, Brian's out. And, uh, and he said, I'm not calling for Brian, I'm calling you. I said, how are you doing and all that? I said, well, it's a bit of a mess. He said, I know, I'm sending you my driver. You're moving in m to my house. And if they want to bust you again, they'll have to take me along. So it was a very noble and um, uh, yeah. br brilliant move. And I stayed there for, I guess, um, a few weeks or something um, while um, th these things were sorted out. In fact, he, Paul McCartney, painted those uh, extraordinary psychedelic shoes I wore, you know, in the pictures that you see me walking to court with a uh, key long sort the right? of, uh, uh, well, well, they were amazing. They were those Anello and David uh, buckle shoes, uh, but they, they were, you know, of course, in England, they picked up on all these details of one's accoutrement. Yeah. It's rather fun.